Welcome to the Division Weapon Guides. Today's episode is on the Warlord Assault Rifle. We'll take a look at the aesthetics, the statistics, its weapon talents, and how to get it. The Warlord is a named variant of the AK-47 Assault Rifle. It has a similar design, but it has a golden skin on its body. It fires automatic. The damage is what sets this weapon apart from the other AK variants. It deals around 18,500 damage per shot, which is slightly higher than the AK-47 does. The AK-47 does around 15,000. Of course, this depends on your firearms, but there is a difference of 2 to 3,000 damage. When shooting an enemy in the head, it gets a damage bonus of around 80%. The rest of the statistics remain similar to the other AK variant. It is effective until the optimal range of 26 meters. And even at this range, it isn't hard to control with a rate of fire of 600 rounds per minute. The handling characteristics are pretty good, with the accuracy being 54% and the stability being 37%. It has a standard magazine size of 30 rounds which you will be able to reload in 3 seconds. The named weapon variants have 3 fixed talents. The first weapon talent is Capable, which improves the weapon handling by 25% for 15 seconds when using a skill. The second weapon talent is Ferocious, which adds 10% damage when shooting elite or named enemies. And the third weapon talent is Unforgiving, which increases your damage based on the missing health. If one segment is missing, you get a 10% bonus, and when two segments are missing, it increases with 25%. These are decent talents, but the Warlord is a weapon based around high damage. Other talents that would go well with this are destructive, brutal, responsive, and deadly. You can't buy it for as far as we know. It drops from the named enemies outside the Dark Zone. And from missions, incursions, etc. It possibly could drop from caches or enemies inside the Dark Zone, but that is not certain. We hope you now have an overview of the Warlord after patch 1.4 in the Division. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the guide, please consider leaving a rating. Subscribe for more related content and please support us on social media. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below.